Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons here on the Nintendo Switch. Um, somebody at the campsite. Cool, cool. We'll check that out. So here in Animal Crossing New Horizons, it's the one game um, out of the five Animal Crossing games that I have Let's Plays for. It's the one game that's kind of going a bit off the rails uh, in comparison to the other ones for the great summer catch-up thing. Um, in all the other games, I have a bunch of bugs and a bunch of fish that I have to catch still uh, in order to catch up uh, on the missed months. This game, not so much. The only... I only have one fish, one deep sea creature, and one bug remaining until my museum. I guess, well, my museum is already technically complete with fish. Uh, bugs, for whatever reason, I forgot to donate a cricket, so that's not relevant. That's Once I get back to normal time, I'll donate a cricket, and I'll finish my uh, bug wing of the museum. And then I'll just be down to art when it comes to the museum. But as, in regards to my Critterpedia, um, I still need to catch... The spiny lobster, which isn't available until like the winter months. Uh, the char, which as far as I'm concerned isn't available ever, but it doesn't come back. It might be September, maybe October, maybe November. Sometime in the next couple of real time months, the char will be back. Uh, and I'll continue my pursuit of that. I might just like go on Nookazon and just save a little bit of time and energy and just buy like a metric butt ton of... Um, fishing bait just like hundreds of packets of fishing bait and that way i don't have to craft it all and i can maybe maybe catch a char that way um but with bugs here in july i'm going to continue seeking the giraffe stag beetle that is the only bug that i need so it's here uh july 26th at 6 12 p.m Oh, I saw that right away, and it was like, it's a Hercules beetle. Ironically, the, the Horned Hercules is actually the one beetle I need in, I want to say City Folk? Gulliver's here on the beach today. Not super concerned about that right now, though. Do I have any pocket space? Oh, beautiful. Got plenty of pocket space. A chic mum crown. What? Is, oops. What does that look like? <clears throat> okay. It's about exactly what I kind of expected it to look like, I guess. <laughs> so the giraffe stag will be on palm trees. I saw one last episode. I saw one last episode. And I blew it. And I'm really afraid that's going to become a trend. So I'm going to try to catch this bad boy today. That would really just make my life complete. And by make my life complete, I mean it would really just make my museum and my bug section of my Critterpedia complete. That is a uh, Miam Stag, I believe. That was dangerous. Gotta remember, you can, you can swing from quite a distance away. That's what I gotta remember here. Oh, it was actually a saw, a saw stag. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, so that is a an atlas beetle, I believe. Not the beetle I'm looking for, but I'll still catch it. Just for practice. Wow. 
the Horned Atlas. Do I have any? Oh wow, this is my only bug catching net too. I forgot I got I dropped my other one because of the Scorpion Island. Let's see who's at my campsite. Maybe that'll refresh my uh, my trees as well. <laughs> nope. You look like kind of look. You have an attitude. I don't want that on my island. I don't need an attitude on my island. <laughs> Pietro already has enough attitude for the whole island. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pietro is great. Pietro's a sweetheart. Favorite villager, hands down. It's a beautiful summer night here on Domo Isle. Wait till I get a... The sun's kind of off the side there. I can't really get a great shot out of it, but... <laughs> Let me see if I can get a... Eh. Can't really get a good shot here. Maybe if I run out of frame. That's really meh. I don't know. Uh, All right, what if I do a tripod camera? There's even less custom customize customiz customability. Customizability? What's the what's the correct word there? Customizability? There's even less. My, my bottom line. Giraffe stag beetle. There's a shark fin. I'm not feeling super confident. I mean, I know we're only, what, eight minutes into the episode? We've got plenty of time for a giraffe stag to spawn. That isn't it, but I'm going to get it anyway. Another saw stag. <clears throat> so, but for frame of reference, the uh, the giraffe stag looks pretty similar to the saw stag. It's just bigger, and it's black instead of like having that like reddish hue to it. I feel like it's gonna be a sucker fish. Crap! I blew it. I'm a spaz. World's worst fisherman. Okay, back to bug catching, because that's what I'm trying to focus on today. I don't want to distract myself. It's probably a sucker fish anyway, so I'm going to tell myself that. <laughs> Rosie, if you think you're moving away, you're, you're kidding yourself. I will never let you leave. If you try to leave, I will summon you back via Amiibo card, and you will never leave. You understand me, Rosie? No matter how far you think you can run from Dumbo Isle, you will always end up back here. I will see to it.
Please don't leave. Thanks, I think you're right. No, I am right. I want to know if, if a villager leaves your island, though, can you call them back and have them move back in? Can villagers move back into your island once they've moved out once? And that goes for any Animal Crossing game, not just New Horizons. I'm just curious, genuinely. Because I don't think... I don't think it's ever happened to me. Where a villager moves out and then they move back in. Nor have I ever tried to get somebody to move back in. I feel like the only the only game where you can really get villagers specifically to move in is kind of New Horizons, right? I don't know if... Because of the amiibo system. I don't know about New Leaf... If you could call, you know, people to your campsite, I forget. I never used Amiibo um, <clears throat> in New Leaf. And probably never will. But I don't know what that system is like on that. <laughs> Woohoo! Another saw stag. I think it's about time we see a giraffe stag, don't you? That scared the crap out of me. It's just a horned atlas. I don't actually need it, but I'm going to catch it anyway. This is just the first beetle I've ever seen on this tree. Things almost never spawn on this tree. I assumed because it was so close to, like, my house. Or so close to, like, all the other stuff that's around it, like the cooler. Okay, pipe remove. Thank you. Nothing ever really spawns on this tree either. Well, now there's nothing going to spawn there because Rosie's sitting there with an ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. At least we're still getting bugs to spawn, though. <clears throat> beetles are still spawning. And as long as new beetles are spawning... Well, not new. We've seen just about every other beetle, though. Thus far. We've seen the saw stag multiple times, obviously. We've seen the horned atlas twice now. <laughs> We've seen the horned hercules once. Uh, still haven't seen the giraffe stag... Or the Goliath Beetle, or the Horned Elephant. The Golden Stag still hasn't been seen. Okay, so yeah, we haven't seen all the... We haven't seen them all yet, but... Ah, what are you? You look to be... Another Saw Stag. No, you know what? That's a... I want to say that's a Miyama Stag, because it's brown. Yeah, so the Miyama Stag, the Saw Stag, and the Giraffe Stag all kind of look the same because they got the Stag uh, Beetle pincers up there. Um, the only difference between the Miyama Stag and the Saw Stag that I can see is they're the same size approximately. The, the Saw Stag is just like, it has like a red hue to it. Uh, the Miyama Stag has like a brown hue to it. The Giraffe Stag is larger like noticeably larger uh and it, it's like a dark black color <laughs> it's like similar to uh more like the horned atlas so if you look at these two they're like the same essentially um obviously there are some differences but when they're on the tree they look pretty pretty much the same uh the horned atlas is like the color of the giraffe stag it's like that 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 deep black color And I know this because I saw one once. <laughs> I saw one once. And then I blew it. I blew my opportunity to catch it. 
But hopefully that'll change today. I have faith. Okay, so I don't have faith. I have hope, though. Faith implies that I genuinely believe it's going to happen. Hope implies that I'm just like, I'm, I'm willing it to happen. And that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm willing it to happen. I don't actually believe it's going to happen. <laughs> it kind of sucks having only like X number of palm trees. What is Pietro up there considering? If Pietro thinks he's gonna move out of town, he is more of a clown than he's dressed like, because that is never gonna happen. I'd let I'd I'd let Rosie escape before I let Pietro escape. Uh. Sure, why not? And away we go! Straight to the House of Cupcake. <clears throat> okay. So Pietro just straight up wanted to come to my house. He wasn't considering moving away, he just wanted to come to my house. Yeah, yeah, come, come on in. Come on in. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. The movie theater room, if you want to come and chill, and we'll watch a movie. I still need to, uh... I still want to turn this into... <clears throat> this wall into a big mural. Like, I like... I like that it's the the one... Bro, toys aren't just for kids, right? I can have toys, don't judge me. What's up? Okay, so a film projector, I feel like, is not really, um... A toy, but... Alright, see you later. Okay, well, at least he doesn't outstay his welcome. But, like I was saying, I want to turn, um... I like this wall being this wall. Like, being the accent wall. It looks very much like a projector screen, and I love it. Um... But, with that said... I do very much want to turn that into a um like a scene from like once upon a time in hollywood or like a mural type of deal uh and just like maybe change it every so often like what movie is playing in the theater right so like i would probably start with once upon a time in hollywood because it's my favorite movie of all time um and then maybe splash up like for halloween maybe do a scene from like corpse bride or like uh Nightmare Before Christmas, or maybe a horror movie. I don't know if I would be able to get away. Being a general audience channel, I don't know. My favorite horror movie is Hellraiser, and I don't know if I'd be able to get away with that. A scene from Hellraiser. Maybe a more tame scene from Hellraiser. <laughs> we'll see. I apologize, my nose is all stuffy. It's recording in the morning uh, doesn't work for me, apparently. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta record when you got time to record. It's the dedication. The dedication of a YouTuber who uploads videos five times a week and live streams once a weekend. Oh, I'm so glad that was a Hercules Beetle and not what I was looking for. Cause I scared it away. <laughs> that was almost extremely disappointing. So we've now seen two Hercules beetles as well. Just want to go on record of that. <laughs> Not that it matters. But I'm feeling confident that the giraffe stag 
has to be like on the horizon. Not literally, but it has to be. It's like it's it's next in line to spawn. I feel like it has to be at this point. Part of me wants to be like, oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just plant more palm trees. You know, that way there'll be more trees for them to spawn on. But it's not like they're actually spawning on all the palm trees I already have. You know? If every time I ran through, there was a bug on every palm tree. Like, if you have one palm tree, you know? What's up? Oops, I'm sorry, I tried to talk to you. And I beat you. Okay, bye. Sorry, I beat you over the head. Um. Go real slow in case. Nope, nothing. That was a really spa a spastic way of going real slow. So I'm gonna go real slow. Whew. Like, really. Whatever. Luckily, there was nothing there. To scare away so we're all good um but yeah like i could see it if you had like one palm tree and every time you ran past it there was some kind of beetle on it and it just wasn't the beetle that you wanted i could see that you know like oh let me plant some more palm trees that way the you know there's more of a likeliness of a different bug or like two bugs spawning at the same time or something like that but I have plenty of palm trees. Half the time, they're empty regardless. What is that? Is that a drone beetle? I believe it is. But it's like black, which is... No, it's not. It's just the shadow. I saw that it had no, like, um... It didn't have, like, the, the stag pincers. It had no horn or anything like that. So I knew it was just a drone beetle, but... Uh, the shadow that was cast on it made it look black in comparison to its real green, green hue. Um, <laughs> ooh, I think that's my giraffe stag, guys. I'm going to be real careful about this. <clears throat> See how long its pincers are? That's how you know. So remember, not too close this time. <laughs> not too far away either, but I'm sweating buckets right now. I think I'm going to go like one space away or something. I'm going to swing. Got it. Yes. Oh, that made me so scared. Yes. I caught a giraffe stag. Huh? So this means... <clears throat> I did it. I caught all the bugs. What do I do with this net now? Throw it away. Burn it with fire. I don't care. Bugs don't bug me. Boom, baby. 3,000. Scarce critter. We did it. Uh, let me pull that up. Let me just look at this. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Check this out. A completed Critterpedia. It's already been donated to museum. There was a whole modding episode, or a whole modding thing in the live stream the one night. It's a whole thing. Uh, the regular cricket, though, is what needs to be caught. The regular old cricket is what I need for the museum now. So let's, uh... I'm trying to think, how long? We're only 25 minutes in this episode. Let's do some time traveling. <clears throat> um... 
Hold on, let me just check. There's nothing else. So there's the char. That's the only fish I need. <laughs> and then the only deep sea creature I need is the spiny lobster. Both of those have been donating, donated to my museum already, too, though. Um. So I don't need an August episode, do I? No, I do not. <laughs> so let me save and end here. And we're going to time travel. Back to regular time. I think we're all caught up already in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we we, don't, we didn't even really need to ever time travel in New Horizons. Uh, because when I came back, it was still late August. I could have just done an, an August episode, and I could have found the giraffe stag then. Um, but regardless, we did the thing. We did the great summer catch-up. We came back. We'll just skip August, I guess. Uh, so we're going to close that. We're going to do a little bit of uh, time traveling here. <laughs> Date and time. We're going to sync that back on. Uh, before we actually go through with that, though, we'll come back to today's date. Um, but let me check, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, let me open up the Animal Crossing fandom wiki and see cricket, whoops, when's the cricket available? I just need to catch a cricket. I think it's available, uh, like September nights. 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're actually going to turn that off. And we're going to time travel to tonight. I could have very easily just switched. You know what? Yeah, I could have very easily just switched to p.m. And it would have called it a day. But regardless. Um, yeah, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Let me check the char as well. Just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Horizons, Clifftop River, don't I know it? Um, what are the hours of availability, though? <laughs> September all day. Okay. So once we catch a cricket, we'll go back to try to catch a char, too. If we could kill, if we could get both of those today, oh boy, I'd be a happy camper. And then the uh, the spiny lobster doesn't come out until the winter months. I know that. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check that one too. But yeah, the char is back now, so we're we're all caught up. Spiny lobster. Nine p.m. to four a.m. <clears throat> Why does it say September 16th to December? That's weird. That's not... That can't be right. Let me... Uh... Deep Sea Creatures New Horizons. Oh, boy. So it's a crappy rainy day. Can crickets spawn in the rain? So, yeah, that's not even true. Spiny Lobster has come out in October. Apparently, according to this. It's been two months since you last played. Acorns and pine cones, baby. So now we're more or less... We're actually in the future now. We went from two months in the past to... Like, a couple hours in the future. Oh my god, fix your hair, dude.
Um, so my question is for Cricket. Cricket. Can they be caught in the rain? Available in rain? No. Oh my god, dude. What about the char? Is the char available in the rain? <laughs> it, uh... It doesn't actually explicitly say if they can be caught in the rain. So I'm going to assume that they can be, and I'm just going to check the cliff tops real quick, just to be safe. The snail. <laughs> Nothing ever spawns up here except for uh, when I throw fish bait. In. <laughs> Nothing. It's a Crucian cop. I need to fix my face. I don't know why I made my face look like this. I did it for some reason, but I forget why, and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> An earth boring dung beetle. Oh, those are going to be really soggy flapjacks. Ignoring the, uh... Ignoring the fact that they're, they've been drizzled in syrup for months. It's now also raining. Alright, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking we time travel again. I'm going to go back to yesterday, when hopefully it wasn't raining. That's all that really matters to me right now, is that it's not raining. Because <laughs> then I can catch the cricket and I can finish my museum, the bug exhibit in my museum. <clears throat> and then that'll be the first, um, the first fairly completed... Outside of fossils. My fossil exhibit, I completed, you know, 100% of my own, obviously, too. But, um, the bug one I kind of cheated for, but it wasn't completed anyway because of the cricket that I missed, so it's no big deal. Um, let's see here. Date and, oops. Date and time. I'll do yesterday. Same time. And we'll load back in. And hope if it rains now, then I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to give up for the day. Uh, but assuming it's not raining, I will grab this cricket and I will complete my my uh, the bug wing of my museum at long last. And maybe I will take the time to, to uh, craft a golden net too. Since I've completed that, I, I, I'll award myself. Or reward myself. Yeah. I will reward myself by awarding myself a golden bug catching net. But that requires me to catch a cricket. Hopefully it's not raining, like I said. I think, uh... I think in past experience, the cricket has been, like, the most... The easiest... Not the easiest, but one of the easiest bugs to catch. It is certainly not in any way rare. So, if it takes more than five minutes to catch this bad boy, I'm going to be very conflicted. <clears throat> but it's not raining. It's not raining on this day. On this day yesterday. Alrighty. So, let's rock and roll. As soon as it loads. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm pretty confident that... I don't know why it... 
Oh, wait, the Faraway Museum. Esteemed John, thank you for using the Critterpedia app. We congratulate you on completing every bug entry in the encyclopedia. To celebrate your achievement, we present you uh, with a recipe for a golden net. Yes. Does mom congratulate me too? No. I thought mom was going to con congratulate me as well. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't even have the recipe for the golden tools. You don't get the gold you don't get the recipe for them. You can get the tools uh from other people, but you don't get the the recipe for them until <laughs> Cricket. Gimme. See, that was very quick. Very simple, very quick. And I think that's the only bug, so let's get to the museum and finish uh the bug wing of my museum. It's a big day, guys. This is the first time I've ever completed a bug wing in my uh, museum. <laughs> Unfortunately, I unceremoniously, um, I unceremoniously completed my fish exhibit and my deep sea creature exhibit um, through the help of modders, which it, it is what it is. I'm going to complete them, like, for real anyway. Uh, no thank you. I don't need to learn more about the cricket. Yes, yes, understood. <laughs> they rub their legs together and make the sound. That's all I need to know. And if they get in your house, it's horrible. Who, ooh, and a hey, hats off to you. I dare say I am the very picture of an emotional roller coaster. To wit, whilst I am pleased to announce we have completed our insect collection, I am displeased to be in the presence of so many bugs. Ugh. Toot toot, tut tut, whatever. Never you mind. It is my feelings of humble gratitude that win the day. Our bug collection is complete thanks to you, and our museum is a better place too. I shudder as I say this, but you have my sincerest thanks for bringing us so many insects, John. I'll be mailing you out, or mailing out... Uh, the poster for our latest completed collection soon. As each complete collection is completed, I'll have another poster printed, so keep your donations coming. So let's run through a completed bug uh, wing in the museum here real quick. And then I'll go see if I have any gold to craft this net. So here it is, everybody. This is what a completed bug or uh, insect exhibit in the Animal Crossing New Horizons Museum looks like. I am going to do like a full bunny. Bunny is not included. She's only here for me. Um, but unless you catch her. If you catch a wild bunny, then, then you can have her in your museum too, I suppose. Everybody has the same dialogue. But, uh, yeah, so, I am going to do, once my entire museum is complete, uh, I am going to do a full, like, walkthrough. Because <laughs> I feel like this is a point that not everybody gets to. I feel like some people give up long before uh, they get to the point of completing their museums. <laughs> or like some people just don't even care to complete their museums in Animal Crossing. I used to be one of those people. I was all about the money. I was all about making money in Animal Crossing. <laughs> and like, yeah, I did collect bugs for the museum and whatnot, but I never like put an emphasis on them or on it. That, that butterfly was just flying backwards. We all saw that, right? Anyway. Uh, I never really put an emphasis on it. Until uh, New Horizons came out. And I was like, you know what? Like, I did the U I started my YouTube channel back up. And I was like, you know what? I think it'd be really cool if I actually completed. Is it? Oh. It's the, uh, it's the Beetle Fight Club. Here, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. If anybody doesn't remember the episode I did... 
I think it was probably back in 2020 when I first discovered the Beetle Fight Club. If you come to the museum in the in the wee hours of the night, the Beetle Fight Club uh, happens on this sappy tree back here. Ready for this? Look, they're clashing up there. The giraffe stag is in there now, because, you know. Boom. Big boy giraffe stag won. And then if you go back in, every time you come back out, you have, uh, you have different beetles that are fighting each other. And then you have, like, the onlookers around them, too. And you also have the sap, which I never really thought about, but it definitely does look like, like, gore. <laughs> like, it looks like blood dripping down, like, and it happens to be exactly where the Fight Club is. That's suspicious. I feel like Nintendo low-key slipped that in there, and it's like, how much violence can we add? To this game because there's no sap on any of the other trees it's just that one tree exactly where the beetles fight but you know whatever whatever i digress all right so let's go real quick uh craft a golden bug catching net and maybe we'll mount it no i think we're we have the posters uh and the plaques from the museum the stamp rally days <laughs> um so that we have those in our collection. What do we need? Oops. What do we need to craft a golden net? One gold nugget and one regular net. And for reference, what do we need to craft a net? <laughs> in order to craft a regular net, we need one flimsy net, one iron nugget. So we need one flimsy net, an iron nugget... <laughs> And a gold nugget. And we'll be able to craft everything we need. <laughs> I think I definitely... I should definitely have at least one gold nugget. I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty confident that I should. Let me grab a flimsy net. That'll be all. Thank you, Timmy and Tommy. I'm excited, guys. This is exciting. We finally did it. After three years, we caught we caught all the bugs. Almost three years, right? In March of 2023, it'll be three years. The three-year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um... So yeah, let me run into my house and check my inventory, see if I have one piece of iron and one piece of, uh, <clears throat> one piece of gold. Uh, where would, like, the crafting supplies be at the very bottom, I think? <laughs> it's about time to break out that pumpkin-headed Wario as well. As is tradition. Okay, yes! We have 29 pieces of gold somehow. That's great and all. I only need one, but it's fine. <laughs> At least we know we have, we'll have plenty of gold uh, when it comes to crafting. Actually, you know what? I'm... <laughs> I might do something else today, too. First up, we're going to craft a regular net. And now that we have that regular net, we will craft the golden net. Uh, all done. Oops. There it is. The golden net, I'll switch that in there. Already have the golden slingshot there. Um, what was the other thing? Yeah, so I wanted to... What do I have to do to craft this giant robot?
I need a rocket, gold armor, rusted parts, rocket and gold armor. I think I have gold armor. I had gold armor. Do I have a rocket though? Okay, now it's in alphabetical order. Uh, you are. It's lots of spooky stuff. Do I have a rocket? So we have plenty of rusted parts. I have a rocket. I have the rusted parts. Do I have the gold armor? <laughs> the gold is already in my pocket. Like the regular gold. Didn't I just have gold armor though? I didn't sell that, did I? Or like drop it somewhere? I thought somebody just sent me gold armor. Crap, where was it? Oh, I need more iron nuggets. Yeah, I'm just missing the gold armor and the iron nugget. I could have sworn I had that, though. Boom. There's another one. Golden milestones. Wait, so let me go to Nook Shopping. I swear somebody just gave me... Maybe not. Huh. I could have sworn somebody had just given me a golden armor. Like, relatively recently. <laughs> so now I'm one... I'm golden armor away from crafting that robot. The giant robot that I've been pursuing for three years now. <laughs> I thought... Uh, I hope you like your shiny new bow. I thought Naminsk. I honestly thought Naminsky sent me gold armor. Mi I couldn't have. I and I couldn't have dropped it. It would have been in my catalog. Or sold it. So I must be losing my mind, right? It's the only explanation. Maybe go into Able Sisters and see if they have gold armor. I don't even know where you get gold armor from, to be honest. Unless, wait. You can't craft uh, clothing, can you? No. No, that'd be stupid. Wait, no, you can, though. Hold up. Golden plate armor. That's not the same thing, though. So let me just... Oh, with a wetsuit on. Crap. Let me just see if there's gold armor here for some reason. 
And when there's not, I'll concede. Box pleated skirt. Fo oh, football pants. I was like, why are there knee pads on these? Paintball mask? Yeah. What are these? I don't know what that is. Yep, no gold armor. If somebody wants to send me gold armor, that'd be swell. And if somebody already did send me gold armor, like I think somebody did, and somehow it just disappeared off my account, I apologize. For wasting your time and your life and your bells and whatever, whatever else. Um. Alright. So that's where we will call it. We are officially, hold on, you know what? Chuck this thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me. Now, you know what? I'm going to hang on to this one. This giraffe stag. Being that it was the final bug, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep my spiny lobster. Well, actually, no. Yeah, because I don't have to donate them. Uh, and I'm going to keep my char as the final fish of it, or final, you know, creatures I had to catch. Um. So let me favorite this real quick. And there it is. This mosquito is buzzing right- yeah. I knew that mosquito was going to bite me. But anyway. Let me, uh... Let me get a picture. Hold on. Uh, let me do... Let me... It's on this side, so, like... Let me do... I can't even pose more than this. That's kind of lame. I wanted to do a... Uh, I guess that works. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, just photobomb me. Photobomb me then. That's fine. That's fine, Ruby. Uh... Just trying to get a good thumbnail but that's it is what it is i suppose i was trying to get uh to be able to like swing again photo everybody wants to photobomb me <laughs> now sahara is trying to photobomb me anyway so that's where i'll leave that uh thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel here on youtube and to ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single weekend. And when I upload new video content such as this. Uh, lots of new Animal Crossing content over the next couple of weeks still. Uh, but when I upload new video content to the channel such as this every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.